stick. <laughs> Thank you for your letter regarding fresh blood. It set off tenets waiting to pass through. The interesting aspect of middle age is that middle indicates a chance to look simultaneously in two directions with equal empathy stroke identification, forward and backward, based on the present and presence. This means I represent, as I'm situated, the wobbling shift of young, old. This has curious effects, many of which I pondered when I was firmly chronologically younger, precocious, including questions like, how could a woman dancer with wrinkled knees dare to perform? How come people over 40 in photographs could look very young, very old, glamorous, or endearingly parental? Did the camera lie? Did they have special makeup? Or did their physiognomy change according to the moment, the light, the expression? Did these older people still engage in sex? And if so, did they appear sexual, appealing, exciting, beautiful to each other? Were they still passionate? If desire didn't diminish, were they sure to find lovers, especially the women? We know about men with their young lovers or second wives. With my history and dynamics, I assumed I'd be passionate and desiring until I die. Kept close to my heart is a conversation Proust reportedly had with Madame de Noailles at 80. Proust asked her how it felt to be free from desire to which she replied she had no idea and suggested asking someone older. <laughs> then there's the story of Carl Ruggles at 84, expressing sexual interest in me when I was 22. I was startled, but understood. The young man I would never know, absorbed into our dear friend, the great man, toothless, half-deaf, widowed, it was heartbreaking, but would have been perverse to engage. <laughs> Why should sexual age be so narrowly defined? The latter half of life denigrated, disposed of, denied. This sounds like the historically denied, denigrated, despised history of women's image making. Traditionally, middle-aged women do disappear, except on the arms of their husbands, escorts or sons, one wonders where they've been banished to. Was it the hostility of younger artists fearing their own eventual middle age that drove them off? Yes, definitely. Why should my generation disappear to make room for the next? It's not tidy. Many women older than me started performing later. Time is material, just as our experience is material, no matter how unidealized we may look. If the work communicates to me its need for my body, then I put my body where the work says it needs to be. That's always where the image comes from. Not from a conscious decision, but from the unconscious recognized in its fragile insistence that something pass through me, that I serve it in its full demand or request. It looks like sagging, wrinkling, doubling, spotting may be in vogue after all. Most everything else taboo I've struggled with or against has shifted and taken an integrity and influence where it had previously been denied. So I think I may keep working as the physical ideality, which I was just lucky enough to have as material, turns into something else. C.S.